What's the perfect protocol for building muscle, as in the workouts in the gym? Well, there's lots of arguments about that, but here's seven key points that, of mine that you might want to consider. Number one, make sure you're training in the 40 to 80 percent of max effort zone. I've done another video on this called Training in the Zone, and 40 to 80 percent of your one rep max is where most of your sets and reps should be. Number two, keep reps around about seven to 12 in that zone for most part. I do do lower rep stuff for heavy lifts sometimes and I do super high volume for other things, but for the most part, my reps are between seven and 12 reps and you should be failing between that range uh, for most of the exercises that are working sets. Number three, train three to five days a week for around about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, any more than that is probably going to be uh, overexerting yourself and not giving yourself time to rest. Any less than that, you're not sending enough signals in the week to the body to tell it, it you want it to get bigger and grow more muscles. It's very infrequent training. Number four, don't train more than three days consecutively uh, as a regular thing. It's okay to do it every now and again if you're on an overreach, but training four or five days on the trot is more likely going to cause you to get injured and you're not going to have the energy reserves to be able to do your max on that fourth and, and fifth day. So three days most and then have a rest and then do another three days or two days if you want to. Number five, fuel your workouts. There's evidence to suggest that training in a fasted state with weights is actually counterproductive. You might actually reduce the amount of gains that you're having. Though, So have something very small before you go to the gym, some small carbohydrate or small protein to uh, add some fuel to the fire. Don't go into the workouts faster thinking that's going to burn more body fat. That doesn't happen and you're just wasting your time. Number six hit each body part twice a week. I don't mean do a full workout on legs once and then do it again in the week. I mean do a workout on legs and then a couple of days later, do another couple of sets on say squats or leg press or something to a roundabout failure to give your muscles that second hit of failure signal in the week that allows it to grow at a faster rate. And number seven, the workout should be composed of a warm up exercise and then a heavy compound then a compound with volume and at the end we do isolation exercises so don't start off with some fancy thing that targets one tiny little muscle go for the big compounds first and then work your way into the smaller muscles as you get further into the workout if you want some examples of workouts that follow this type of pattern, just go to my uh, website, BK Nutrition forward slash vitamin T, and you can download some free workouts to get you started.